Okay, so it's the 4th of July, Thursday. I was off today, but I gotta work tomorrow. Only till three o'clock though, so that'll be good. And I'm here, alone. My family left me high and dry, it's so sad. They went to my niece's house. Uh, she lives in Hockley, and everybody went over there for the weekend. So I'm making me some dinner. And um, I'm gonna make chicken enchilada, creamy chicken enchiladas. This has sour cream, cream of chicken soup, which I guess is kind of like gravy, but not really. Uh, green chilies, Monterey Jack cheese, chicken, uh, and I think that's it. And I'm gonna mix everything together. I'm just gonna throw it in the tortilla. I actually don't have any tortillas, but I do have some corn tortilla mix to make corn tortillas. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, so the tortillas are gonna be really fresh, and I'm not gonna put it in the oven, I don't think. I think I'm just gonna eat them hot off the tortilla pan. You know, just fill them up, eat them, put some cheese on the inside. I don't really think it needs to be cooked, so we'll see how that goes. I think it's gonna be fine, so here we go. Wow, that sour cream smells like sour cream. I don't even know if I'm gonna use all of the sour cream. I think I'm gonna only use half of what they say to use. It calls for eight ounces. I'm only gonna use four ounces. I am gonna use all of the cream of chicken soup. Probably ought to get that off. All of the cream of chicken soup. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All right, maybe I am gonna use a little sour cream. I don't know, we'll see. So this makes like eight enchiladas. I'm not gonna eat eight enchiladas, obviously. Maybe six. <laughs> Just kidding. This is. I boiled the chicken. And, um. Uh, yeah. I think that's gonna be fine. Just like that. Smells good. Put some chilies. Hold on. Mmm, you should smell those. They smell so good. Can you see them? Oh boy. I'm gonna put them on. I mean, if you don't like green chilies, just put a few for taste. You're gonna need some for taste. It's that flavor that mixes with the sour cream that just makes it so dang delicious. Really, seriously. No doubt about it. All right, so it's all mixed up. Um, I think I'm gonna have to warm this up. I'll probably do it in the microwave since, you know, I'm by myself. And it doesn't have to be like perfect since it's just me. And I actually think, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and use all the sour cream. This will be good. I can have this for lunch tomorrow. Uh, I can make me a, you know, make me a couple of tortillas and uh, fresh tortillas and put some of this in it and mm, 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 quick lunch because I really an hour goes by really fast nowadays like seems like an hour used to last so much longer <laughs> it seems like I could do a lot more in an hour than I can nowadays but anyway all right there we go I'm put a little salt and pepper I don't even know if I hit it or not. Let's hope I don't sneeze. All right, so that is done. Throw all this stuff away. It's actually kind of unusual for me to clean up after myself. Uh, I'm a little worried. The recipe calls for cheddar cheese. I only like Monterey Jack cheese with my chicken Mexican stuff, you know, my Mexican chicken stuff. I don't know why, I just do. This is the best cheese grater because you can grate cheese going both ways. Yep. I love it. Here goes the pepper. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Mm, now I gotta wash my hands. Not that anybody's gonna eat with me, but. It's 
still. I don't know. It's a good habit to get into, I guess. All right, here we go. More cheese. So I'm gonna grate all of this cheese. I'm getting really hungry. It's getting really late. And I gotta go to work tomorrow, so I probably wanna go to bed early. I always wanna go to bed early, actually. At least it's better now. Before, I would want to go to bed early just just to get the day over with, you know, like just to avoid the grief. If I went to sleep, I wasn't really feeling the grief and uh, of losing my sweet husband. And, you know, I felt like I could start again the next day. Maybe things would be better the next day. It's not like that anymore, though. That's a good thing. Let's hope for any of you widows out there. It does get better. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this in here and I'm gonna save some so that I can put it on top of my enchiladas. I'm gonna mix that in. Okay, nice. Okay, now I'm gonna make my tortillas. And I just use a mix for that. Okay, so I forgot to hit record. What I did is I just poured some masa mix. Here, this one's better, because it's brand new. I'll show you this one. It's gluten-free. I like to make me corn tortillas. Pretty much, mm, every day I would say. I don't know. I just made a mess, as always. Wonderful. All right, so anyway, I put flour, put that corn mix, and water I mixed it up so my hands don't get totally sticky but now that it's a good consistency I got to use my hands I don't know I've never really read the directions on the corn tortillas so I don't I don't know if they suggest that you let them sit I never do let's just say that I never do all right so that's really not gonna be enough for three it's only gonna be enough for two because I want the tortillas to be kind of big so that I can get um, enough meat and stuff in there. Corn tortillas are kind of hard to roll. So I roll them in parchment paper. Usually I only use one piece and fold it in half. But since I am trying to make these tortillas as big as I can, for the filling, I'm using two pieces of parchment paper. And you just kind of take it, make it into a little, what we call a bolita. I'm flattening out my bolita. And uh, flatten it in here. And I'm going to roll it as best I can. Which usually isn't really all that great, quite honestly. And then I will just separate it as well as I, as good as I can, as nicely as I can without it tearing. Whoa, look at that tortilla. So if it stays like that, you just wanna pull the paper off. You might have a little problem in some areas where the creases are, it might break. You know, it's just a tortilla. It's not museum art or anything. It's going in the pan. And but mm, boy, that looks good. It's cooking. Can you see that steam? So tell me, did your family leave you high and dry for the Fourth of July? I'm just kidding. Um, I could have gone. I really could have. Traveling is not one of my favorite things in the first place, and since my husband passed, it's not really something I want to do. Probably the first big trip I'll make is in February to our grandson's wedding. Getting so excited about that. Anyway, what did you do this 4th of July? Were you with family? Did you celebrate it by yourself? Are you going to go watch fireworks? We have fireworks at our park, and Ronnie and I used to go and park in the um, hospital parking lot, and we would watch them from there. 
that's something I miss, but um, but I have a lot of really great memories of doing that. And then one year, when we lived in Dickinson, we went to uh, the Friendswood Park. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Independence Park, actually. I don't remember, but, um, and we went to go see, for the first time, the Bellamy Brothers, and it was so much fun. We just sat out in our chairs, we rode a little shuttle bus to the park, and sat in our chairs, and it was, it was a nice evening. It was hot, but I don't remember it being terribly hot, and, uh, yeah, and we saw them two or three times after that, but we loved the Bellamy Brothers. It was, it was fun. Anyway. I hope you had a good 4th of July. I'm going to finish my tacos or enchiladas, whatever you want to call them here, and uh, we're going to have some dinner. All right. Okay, so this tortilla is a little more troublesome because it has some little tears right there from, you know, how I rolled it. This is like just charring from the pan that I cooked it in. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more chicken in this one. That's kind of a lot of chicken, huh? Okay. All right, then I'm just gonna put one, what you call it, and then I'm just gonna roll it up. Like that. All right, and what they're saying is just put some cheese on top, put it in the oven. That's not what I'm gonna do, because I'm extra. And there's only two um, enchiladas. I'm a chunky girl. You know why I'm chunky? Because I eat a lot. And so I'm gonna put a little more chicken on top of this, like this. A mixture it here. Oh goodness gracious, it's gonna be so good. All right, and then I'm gonna put some cheese on top of that. Monterey Jack cheese. You can use cheddar cheese. You can use the three cheese blend that so many people like to use. I know, it's a lot of cheese, I know, I know, Ooh. And now, I'm just gonna put it in the microwave and let it warm up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is what we got. Holy mackerel, that looks so good. Um, you know, if you cook it in the oven, it'd be even better. If you want some green chilies on top, oh man, some lettuce, dang. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in and have a piece. I'm gonna let you see it. I'm gonna get a green chili in there for sure. Because the green chilies are what make it. Look, look at that cheese. Oh man, it's steaming hot. Let's hope I don't burn my tongue. With real tortillas, corn tortillas, oh man. Mm. 